next thing we do is we move on to downloading the packages and patches so just to recap what we've done at the moment we've partitioned the um, hard disk and we've um, formatted the partitions so they're ready for use and finally we've mounted them so now they're mounted we can actually start putting stuff on there which is the source packages so let's run this command here which create, creates a directory for the sources under our LFS partition and then this command makes the directory sticky which means that only the person that creates any files in there and that can be anybody because there's a triple seven there uh, is allowed to delete those files so what, what I normally do here is I change into the LFS sources directory um, just makes things a little bit simpler and there's a file here to fetch and if I copy the link location there and type in wget center click I fetch that file and that file has got a list of all the source packages and their URLs where they can be downloaded from as you can see and Kind, quite kindly the LFS team have got a nice command here to download those packages automatically so what it, it does it uses this uh, list as a steering file and downloads each one of those packages so if I run this now you'll see it start downloading them and this will just take a few minutes to complete downloading Right, so that's downloaded, um, and that's you can see in the book it says that there's a separate MD5 sums file which can be used to verify the packages. So it's not only verifying that they've not been tampered with or been corrupted on the way 
um, downward have been downloading, but also to verify that all the packages have actually downloaded. So once again, if we right click this and do copy link location, and in the terminal type in wget, center click to paste that link, fetch that md5 some file, and just run this command. Now because I'm in the sources directory already, I only need to run this, but if you've not changed into the sources directory like I have, just copy and paste all three commands. And you can see there that something has actually failed. In fact, there's seven um, packages that failed. Now this is just one failing with the Endeavor OS. Um, what it is with these packages that have failed, if I go back and try and find one, it's because these URLs got an HTTPS link and the I think it's the certificate can't be validated. Um, so it doesn't actually, oh no, not that one, sorry, big pardon. Uh, can't find one now. Uh, what would be best for me to do is to identify the ones that I haven't downloaded. So if I go to the next page, it's got all the individual URLs. So if I attempt to download the first one, oh, yes, it was XZ, yeah. Oh no, IP root, sorry, right, IP root. So if I look for IP root in this list, there it is there. If I right click the actual package URL and copy that link location, if I type wget and center paste that link, you can see that the certificate is not trusted. So that's why that's not downloaded. That's the only failing with this Endeavor OS that it hasn't got um, either the correct certificates or already certificates installed. So what I need to do here is to download these manually um, and there's a switch to tell it to ignore that. So what I need to do is to get all of the URLs of ones that have failed and paste them in. So I've just pasted that IP root one in again. Let's see what the next one is. KBD 2.40. This uh, should be an alphabetical order. So again, I'll right click this, copy link location, and then center click in this window. Press space and look for the next one, which is KMOD. Again, right click, copy link, center click and space. KMOD, libcaps the next one. So again, right click the actual package, not, not the home page link, but the actual package link, copy link location center click and space so that was libcap wasn't it libcap linux is next right click copy link location center click and space uh, main pages is the next one copy link location center click space and then it looks like the last one is util linux so just scroll to the bottom right click copy link location center click now the switch i need to put in if i can remember it is is it no oh i can't remember it now no certificate something like that right I'll have to do wget on its own and grep or is it no validate certificate right that's what it is no check certificate that's the switch you need so if I recall the command with all the downloads that are outstanding, just center click that option after 
the URLs and you can see it's now downloading them because it's not we've told it not to check the certificates or validate them it's not ideal but it's not a problem because we can validate the MD5 checksum so we could just re rerun that command again Okay, that's done. So what I'm going to do is just go back to the previous page to recall these three commands. I'll paste them in again, and this time, hopefully, yeah, every single file has passed now. We've got OKs against all of them. There's no report of errors at the bottom. So now we know we've got all the packages downloaded. We also know that they're all valid, that the signatures match, so there's no errors or corruption or tampering with the, with the files um, so there's all the packages again also the next page shows all the package uh, the patches that are used by Linux from scratch uh, 